Hi, everybody. Um, good afternoon or bonsoir for the people in Paris. Um, I'm Francesco. Uh, I lead business development for uh, Freshdesk. As you can gather from my accent, I'm from Nebraska originally. Um, I'm happy to be here to tell you a bit more about Freshdesk, um, the technology choices that we make and why um, WebRTC is part of it. Very quick background. Not everybody might be familiar with what we do. Freshdesk uh, provides uh, cloud-based customer support software. It's a software that support agents have in front of them when they interact with customers. Whether it's uh, in a case where a customer is purchasing a new product, they want to make a change to a ticket for a flight to Brazil, or they are requesting instructions on how to restart a frozen computer. That's us. We are uh, based in San Francisco, five years old, more than 500 people uh, in uh, several locations around the world, and north of uh, 50,000 customers uh, globally. Uh, our vision is to democratize uh, customer support, which translates in making customer su success, uh, support accessible to everybody, from the small startup to the small medium business in growth space to large corporations as well, obviously, of course, to the customers that interact with those uh, companies. Um, democratizing customer support also means uh, making technology choices. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about that. Um, Freshdesk is a multi-channel solution. So our customers uh, interact with their customers uh, through web chat, uh, uh, web form, email, social media. Yet, uh, the majority, about 70% of the support tickets uh, are generated starting from a voice communication. So, so voice is really critical to uh, what our customers do. And that's why the phone channel or voice is very much incorporated into the fresh test experience. And when you talk about voice, uh, uh, two things come to mind. First, uh, you want to provide a voice experience uh, which is pristine, which is uh, Superb. That's the expectation of customers across multiple devices. And the second one is um, how can you make sure that this voice experience is made available without clunky installation processes, uh, software implementation. So these two elements are critical to our customers. Um, and that's where WebRTC comes to play. Uh, which is a building block of our uh, phone channel solution, thanks to the intuitiveness and ease of use. Um, and customers, what they have to do whenever they use our phone solution is simply to log in into Freshdesk, configure the system, and they're ready to go. Nothing weird, no clunky software installation, flash-based. You guys are probably very familiar with that. When uh, we are based on uh, Twilio WebRTC implementation, uh, when Twilio came up with uh, in a WebRTC uh, beta solution some time back, we jumped on it. Um, we signed up for the, for the beta, and our customers uh, uh, were delighted. Delighted because uh, they upgraded their uh, flash-based experience, archaic experience, to a more, more modern, uh, a WebRTC uh, refined uh, experience. Um, what are the key takeaways for us uh, from using WebRTC? Well, WebRTC is both powerful and uh, um, versatile. Powerful because it allows uh, network adjustment in uh, real time. It's something that uh, we lot our uh, Twilio friends uh, were able to do to provide superior quality with uh, minimal latency. Um, versatile because it allows a richer feature set. And that's what we did. For example, uh, click to call uh, one of the features that we implemented. Uh, simple to throw some uh, code, some JavaScript onto a web page, and immediately a customer can interact with support agent, hassle-free and uh, cost-free. Um, The key message for us is it's paramount for Freshdesk and our customers to have, uh, for us to provide, uh, for them to receive uh, a uh, superb user experience, which in many cases means uh, um, implementing complex, sophisticated, very advanced technologies 
and translating that into a very easy to use, intuitive, uh, simple uh, way, interface. And uh, that's how we use WebRTC and that's what WebRTC enabled us to do. That's pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. Um, if you have any questions, don't shoot on me. I'm not a technical guy, but I can try to answer as much as I can. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Francesca. So, uh, some questions? <laughs> Two questions here. What are you collaborating here? Go ahead. Yes, please. So right now, WebRTC isn't available in all browsers, right? So how, how do you guys handle that with your customers? We have a fallback solution, which is not fully desirable, but it's a flash-based solution. It's a fallback solution. Um, so if I understand it right, you basically cover the part where like the service support uh, um, person uses WebRTC, but the actual most of the traffic comes in via phone calls, right? Or is it also, or is there also a part where like basically you you do like you connect the customer from via WebRTC right to the to the service agent? So we we leverage a Twilio infrastructure. We are fresh. This is a multi-channel solution, so software multi-channel. Whether the um, inbound communication or request or inquiries from customers come through voice, uh, email, chat, uh, social media. We centralize them on our platform. 